We will therefore impose significantly stricter measures. This is like a circuit breaker. Most workplaces across Singapore have shut as the country begins what's being called a circuit breaker in the fight against COVID-19. Under the new rules, all workplaces except those providing essential services must shut for four weeks and it means about three in four workers across Singapore will either work from home or stop working until the 4th of May. My name is Glennis, I'm a current business student studying at NUS Business School and right now I'm in my final year so I'm going to graduate in about a month's time. Yeah. Okay. So hi everyone, uh, I'm Vincent here. So I'm actually by profession a pharmacy technician so at uh, Singapore National Eye Centre. So my name is Raihan, currently I am a sales assistant at Suli. I used to be a full-time panda uh, food rider Ooh. Yeah, because my business kind of uh, affected by some other reasons, mm -hmm. not because of COVID. Okay, um, it was very interesting because I started my uh, riding from uh, pre-COVID uh, where there were a lot of cars on the streets and suddenly when uh, um, uh, our Prime Minister says oh we're going for a circuit breaker we were like oh, so what's going to happen I was like yeah I don't know and whether there is people going to order food or not you know it's like you, you do not know what's going to happen. You worry. You yeah, worry, worry right? Yeah. So during then, it was like my summer period. So uh, okay. that was where I have three months of break. So during then, it was supposed to be like me doing internship. Mm -hmm. But during then, it was actually some like, quite um, uncertain period for me because I heard yeah. from some of my friends that some of the internships got reneged or like, some mm -hmm. of the internships got like uh, postponed to a later date. So I was a bit uncertain whether or not I'll be starting my internship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then thankfully, I was able to start and I was working with a German firm. Mm -hmm. And during that, I felt a bit like different because like it's my first time working completely, mm -hmm. working from home and I never expected that. As the healthcare worker, I was actually tasked to go to the foreign workers dormitory to help out. So my main role over there, what I do mainly is actually to set up a medical centre Foreign workers are actually not allowed to leave the dormitory, so they are unable to seek any medical treatment during that period of time. As a medical centre team over there, what we do is actually to see the foreign worker come to us on a day-to-day -day basis for all their um, sickness, their ailments. So we actually consult them and also if they actually pr um, present us any ARI symptoms, any COVID suspects, we will actually do a swap for them as well. I have been a lot more productive, a lot more creative in a sense, a lot of my time because I wasted a lot of my time doing nothing also during the COVID period, right? Mm. So I noticed that if I had actually used that time to actually do a bit something more productive, I could have actually been in a better spot right now. Mm. Ever since then, I think uh, ever since I took all the courses here and there, it, I just felt like, you know, I like, I like this drive that, uh, that I, I, that I, I caught. I feel like, you know, after that, I feel a lot, new a lot more, yeah, new more, a lot more comfortable how I live in my life also and everything. So yeah, I feel like you know, a lot of things change lah. Thanks to COVID, I always have to say thank you to COVID also. But you know, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For us, um, it's a day to day back to the office, mm. but with a higher patient load, and also there is more precautions that needs to be taken care of, social distancing, making sure the patients don't mingle. Personally wise. It's been quite tiring, I guess, because all the measures that is in place, right? There is like travel restriction and stuff, yeah. so travel is like one of the best getaway for healthcare worker yeah. because it's something that's away from us. We just clear our mind from there. So, so where's the first country you all want to go to? Yeah, it's in like that one country, that the very first country you want to. You want to see. I mean, like when borders are all in open. Your mind. Okay, shall we do it together? Okay, I got, I got different answers. Oh, okay. the same one. Uh. Okay, let's okay. go. Ahead. One, two, three, Taiwan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Both chains. Yeah, no, 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 we're almost close already. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. As a person, try to be kind and more appreciative of others, I think. Because during this pandemic period, um, 
a lot of people feel that they actually lack appreciation. So mm. there's a lot of appreciation movement that is going on. So I think this is something that needs to be kept up. Mm. And yeah. I think mine is kind of similar as well. Because mm. this whole pandemic taught me to slow down and also take stock. Mm. So I think I want to see a Singapore that is able and more willing and able to slow down. Mm. Think about the people who are left behind and also learn to appreciate the things around them. The appreciation for frontline. Not, not, not just... Uh, because I'm a frontline, I, I would say that. But this is where that uh, um, appreciative of people around us would result in less conflict, less anger, less everything. Of course, it's an ideal goal, but I think it can start off with uh, with that first uh, frontline stuff. Looking forward, like, I feel like not just for myself, my peers, but for yourself. Hopefully, we uh, we learn from this whole <laughs> pandemic. I would say, yeah. and uh, we move forward and. Uh, Grow stronger, grow our foundation stronger. Yep, that's why uh, uh, maybe I'll start a new business. Oh, <laughs> ah, I will support. <laughs> Thank you. No worries, man.